Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Dance Mums and today we are almost at the end of season one. We've only got two episodes left and this episode happens to be nationals. So this is the big competition at the end of every academic year I guess and I'm kind of excited to see what happens. I actually know nothing. I don't know whether they win, whether they lose. I do not know but what I do know is that today is going to be absolutely dramatic. So if you are enjoying the series, then make sure to subscribe as well as like, comment and do all of those YouTube stuffs that you guys do so well. Oh my God, I'm running out of breath. I feel out of breath just talking. I also want to say that there is a membership on at the moment. There is three pounds per month and you get access to videos early whenever I put them up, which is sometimes a day or two beforehand, as well as bonus content for every single reaction that I do on the channel. So if that's something that does interest you, make sure to sign up today to hear all of my personal stories, all of my little insights, some dance tips, all the interesting things that I cut out of this episode and put into the bonus episode. So without much further ado, let's get into the video, shall we? What is that? That is a watermelon. In the kitchen, there is a watermelon. Eat as much watermelon as possible. Now, I want to reflect a little bit on the past two weeks. I keep telling you guys, you have been given an amazing opportunity and you are not stepping up to the plate. I think these kids are doing absolutely fantastic. I know that if I was in their position, I would be absolutely struggling right about now. I don't think I'd be able to do it. A new dance every single week is absolutely crazy. But also, they keep on making out like it's a new one every single week, but apparently that's not the case. So I've been listening to Kelly and Christie's podcast and they say that actually all of the group numbers that you see are very much, they've been doing them all along. So when they're like, ah, oh, yeah, we're learning new dances every week, bullshit. Because <laughs> apparently in week four, you were doing my pups and you only did like my pups two weeks ago or maybe in the last episode. I don't know. I want to see energy, enthusiasm, fun. If you don't want to do it, there's probably a hundred other kids that would love to be in your shoes right now. I hate how Abby just like, you're replaceable. Like that. You're so replaceable. Oh my God, you're you're done. If you're not interested, I can replace you like that. Sorted. Done. Thank you. Bye. And back on top with Maddie. Surprise, surprise. Who'd have thought it? I feel like I do this every single episode. It's just, it's another episode, I guess. It's another episode of mediocrity whoa <laughs> i'm so excited yay how many solos did she get in this week five everybody is in the group number this week even mackenzie i'm a little scared to dance in the group number i don't want to mess up mackenzie's so cute oh i just want to give her a big hug and be like it'll be okay you'll be fine you're gonna be okay hold the mirror and cover your face the girls use handheld mirrors as props for the routine. We're trying to get the message across to the judges. Why has Maddie got the mirror pointing towards her ass? <laughs> There's the strap. Everyone else is like reaching out and Maddie's just got it like right up against her ass. What is going on there? Like what? Uh huh? So everybody sucks. And that was the message. You all sucked in the last two weeks, but I want to see enthusiasm. I thought they excitement. did great. Welcome back, Melissa. Guess you're done shagging your boyfriend for the money for the dance school, eh? We know what you've been up to. We know you've been putting in a shift. But now it's time to get back to parenting. I'm going on vacation without the girls. When? Yes, yeah, so I'm leaving them here with Gia. This bitch is leaving her children again? She's just left them to spend a weekend with her boyfriend. In fact, longer than that, a week with her boyfriend. And now she's going on holiday. Oh, wait, because this episode was actually filmed before last week's episode. Okay, that makes sense. Why have they done that? That's so confusing. I can't believe Melissa's leaving again. Last week she left to go spend time with her boyfriend and this week she's leaving to go on vacation with him. Her priorities have definitely changed since the boyfriend came into the picture. Now I'm confused. So is she going away again? 
Or has that been edited in to make Melissa look bad? I noticed Chloe's sort of not her regular self. I can see written all over her face that something's wrong. She just didn't have that same Chloe passion that she normally does. You know what it probably is? It's exhaustion is what it is. It's one of those things where like they've been doing this for God knows how many weeks back to back to back to back and they they could see the end of the road and it's now they're just flagging they're running on fumes i talk to her and she tells me that she doesn't want to dance anymore but on the other hand as a mother where do i draw the line you know when is enough enough for her christy quite literally is the best mum. i think she's always got her daughter's like prior her priorities are straight her daughter is number one I just think this is exactly what happens when you push a kid too far. They start to resent the thing that they're being pushed to do. And I never feel like Christy's necessarily pushing her child to do it. I feel like she's always like, if you want to take a break, take a break. Go for it. Just do it. Take a break. Come back. We'll do it later. Okay? All done? So go fake. You're early, babe. And there goes the fun police. Whoop, whoop. That's the sound of Abby coming to tell you you've got sickled feet. And I've just, you've just danced your heart out. Well, here's a list of things that you did wrong. And here's what you need to improve on. Nia, work on your feet. How many times have we gone over this? It's, it is talking to that brick wall. There are ways of saying things, Abby. There are ways of saying things. I know, kids don't always listen. It takes them longer to pick things up. If you tell me, oh, I've got a sickled foot, show me how to unsickle my foot. Don't just tell me I've got a sickled foot and sort it, because how am I meant to know what it, that means without you showing me? This is the issue with Abby as a dance teacher. She doesn't show anything and she has to get her like little underling to help out. And as a dance teacher, that is not okay. You can't sit in a chair and teach dance. And I believe sometimes she wants special treatment for Nia. Like, but you have to teach her this way. You have to teach her that way. I'm Abby Lee Miller. I don't have to do anything. You don't have to, you're not teaching her currently in the nicest way possible. You're not. You're sitting in a chair barking orders at her. That's not teaching. I have been a tutor for years and years, okay? And I know that each child requires a different style of teaching. Some of them I can be fun with. Some of them I can be more serious with. You've got to be adaptable when you're teaching. You have to be. It is unreasonable and un there and also unprofessional to sit there and go i'm gonna teach one way and one way only because i'm abby lee miller and i don't need to do anything it's disgusting if i was their mother i would have crawled into a hole she's 13 years old and was not picking up quickly i do you know what i really hate about abby is the fact that she's like if i was their mother i'd be disappointed oh it's just bad parenting like you know the first thing about parenting, like you are some kind of guru on what is best for children. You know how last week I said I was going to be nice to Abby? Not this week. Not this week. M my anger's coming out from last week because I gave her the week off. But this week, yeah, she's getting it. Walk through it step by step with them. We're not trying to be Maddie and Chloe. Neither one of my kids. But why do you want your to kids be to be mediocre? Because that's the way my kids are. Sorry, just because they don't want to be Maddie and Chloe doesn't mean that they're going to be mediocre. Ab, would you like her crown back? Because you can have it. We'll have to talk about because that. Because she I, take I, the she crown and in. shove it up your ass. Because we don't want it. Kelly, get heated so quickly. Bestie, calm down. And I hate the fact that Abby pushes her to this kind of place where. Abby's like, why would you want a mediocre child? And she's like, I don't have mediocre children. You're the one that's calling them mediocre. That's the issue here. Yeah, have your crown back and shove it up your ass. What's that arm doing, Nia, on the fan kick? The fact that this is 6.46 a.m. In the a.m. The capital a.m. 6.45 and they're already in the dance studio. I can't back it. Do you know what I mean? I just can't. I don't think it's fair on these kids to be working such long, ridiculous days for this. Do you know what I mean? It's one of those things that, like, we have very, like, just very different views on 
on whether it's worth it or not because I personally don't think it is. They are battling against each other for the prince. And there's a big fight on stage. Surprise, surprise. Maddie and Chloe are now doing a duet where they're battling each other. They're no longer battling solos. They're now battling in a duet. I feel like we need just something new in season two to really mix it up because I'm getting bored of them pitting the same kids against each other. I'm getting a little bit tired of dance mums. I am. I, I feel like maybe it's just because it's the first series, but like, I need to know how you guys have sat through this for seven series. Maybe need some new kids. Just something new in there to really spice it up, mix it up. I, I won't give up. Don't worry. I'm really hoping season two spices things up because otherwise... It's gonna be a long road. When Chloe was rehearsing this week, she told me that she wants to quit dance. She doesn't want to, no, she doesn't want to dance anymore. Well, that's fine. When we come back tonight, if she wants to quit, I have a whole list of people that want to take her spot. No, there's no compassion there. There's absolutely no compassion there. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Have we just entered like an alternate universe where Chloe is not a national title holder? Sorry, why are you being so nasty about it? Oh god, Abby, you picked the wrong day to test me because I've been in a bad mood all day. And now, it's just gotten even worse. How about I'm beautiful on the inside? Can I hear it? I'm beautiful on, on the inside. Sometimes I don't think Abby knows what she's talking about. Girls. And here comes Mackenzie to <laughs> cut through the bullshit and call Abby out for what she actually is. A bullshitter. I just told my mom I wanted to take a little break for a while. Well, that's okay. Everybody needs a break once in a while. But just remember, I have a whole long list of people that want to be in this group. Oh, this long list. Oh, for God's sake, will you shut up? You're like a broken record. It's like long list this, long list that. I've got a long list of Bet you have. Put it away and show some compassion to this kid that is currently telling you, I just would like a break. 6.45 in the a.m. And they're going till like 9, 10 at night. Let me enjoy my childhood. Do you think I would be able to make it on Broadway or become a rocket someday? Absolutely. Everything is possible. Everything. And if you keep listening to me, do what I tell you. Yes. Come on. Okay, that was kind of sweet. But, like, one sweet moment does not make up for the fact that you're a bitch sometimes. Do you know what? I've literally done nothing all day as well. I think that's why I'm a bit pissed off. I was building a little train station on Minecraft earlier. And I think it was just getting to me how many bricks I needed. And I was, like, mining up all this clay. And it was really bugging me because I kept running out of clay and then running out of coal. And it was just really, really bugging me. I'm Kurt. I'm the father of Maddie and Mackenzie. What's this guy doing here? I think this is the first time we've seen a dad on the show. A dance dad. This is kind of funny and funky. I'm excited to see where this goes. Just never listens to what I say. I heard from a third party. So I told that my you. my kids are going to be Kurt, without a parent. You. So what? Who cares? Melissa. He goes, I have to hear that my, my kids are going to be without a parent for like the rest of the week weekend. And your response to that is, yeah, who cares? Um, I think I'd be pretty pissed off if I found out that my ex was swanning off leaving my kids with people that, I'll be honest, I don't know. Let's not act like leaving your kids on their own is a good thing, because it isn't, okay? And I have a right to know who's watching my kids. I'm not leaving here, I'm staying with my kids. I completely agree with that. I'm sorry, but like, is he meant to be painted as unreasonable for wanting to look after his children? I'm sorry, but I really feel like Melissa's trying to make him out to be some kind of villain in this situation when she's the one that's going on holiday with her new boyfriend and leaving her children with just dance teachers. Like, what? Uh huh? This, this is all kinds of strange, honestly. Abby sent my two daughters into another room with a guest choreographer and Abby and Gianna stayed in the room and were teaching Maddie her solo. So when Abby brings in a guest choreographer, yeah, that's chill. 
but when Kelly does it, they have to drop out of every single number. They are kicked out of the group. They're no longer part of the ALDC. Abby's not beating the allegations that she has favourites because do you really need both yourself and... I still don't... I just heard her name and I still can't remember it. Do they really need to be both in there? Like, come on. Some children are difficult to work with and some children are a joy to work with. You didn't need to, to do that. I'm sorry. It's just not very nice. You're here to be an educator. Educate. Don't pick favourites. Take sides and look like a melon whilst you do it. Because look at this. Look at this face. Uh, uh. Yeah, I'm so over you. I'm sorry, I am. I think there's no reason for you to have two of you in there and mine in here with someone who doesn't even know what leg they kick on. I love how camp this is. They're having an argument through a door. <laughs> but also, I completely agree with Kelly. She's got a brilliant point in the fact that, like, I'm sorry, but there does not need to be two of you in that room. One of you can come in here and teach them their fucking dance because this guy... As, as lovely as he may be, is probably not going to know what they can do more than you guys can. We'll get 10th place. Maddie, obviously, will get first, and so will their duet. Yeah. Kelly? Come in here. Uh-oh! Ah! It's like she needs to arm her up because she's going to go face the Ender Dragon in there. Oh, sorry, I've really got Minecraft on the brain today. Abby's a scary beast. I would not want to face her on my own. And I was still going to have the guest choreographer who was asking me what they could do. Jealousy. And it went right back to being jealous of the eight-year-old Maddie. She's not jealous of Maddie. She's jealous of the attention that you pour on Maddie. Because you do spend a lot of time with Maddie. You spend more time with Maddie than any other child in that academy put together. She leaves with her kids in an uproar. It's over. I don't have any more time to rehearse with them. And her kids are about to compete at nationals. You never had any time to teach them anyway. You were in the room with Maddie. So what are you talking about? Get down from your high horse and shut up. <laughs> uh -oh. Kurt is here at the competition because Melissa's on vacation. Kurt's their dad. They're going to be across the country. And I think it's only normal that they have a parent there. I'm glad that <laughs> Kelly agrees with me because I really did feel like this show was trying to gaslight me into believing that Kurt wanting to look after his children was a bad thing. And I was like, huh? Like, I feel like they're really, really trying to make me hate him. And I don't understand why. Has he done something that, like, I'm not aware of? Um, it was alright. I think she's done better dances. I didn't really like the shuffle on the knees. I always think that looks really awkward and uncomfortable to look at when people do that in choreography. The turns were nice, clean. This is an issue that I have, and I feel like she started to mouth the words to the song while she was performing, which is fine if you're meant to be singing it, but because she's just dancing... Yeah, it wasn't it, 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 like I could see her mouth moving. Maybe she was counting beats or something. Whereas, like that took me out of it for a second. But on the whole, it was good. I'd give it. I'd give it a seven out of ten. Yeah, I'm gonna start. Should I start? Should I start scoring these dances? Maybe I should. No, I'm gonna give it a, a seven pirouettes out of ten. No, gotta come up with something better than that. No, no, Chloe, Chloe, no, 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 Chloe, no. Oh, I'm so angry. No, oh, no. Oh, bless her. No, oh, I don't know if I can watch the rest of this. Watching them go wrong in group numbers, hilarious. Watching them go wrong when they're the only person on stage. Woo! 
<laughs> Woo, that's not fun. She knows how awful that is. So why she didn't just run around in a circle and arabesque saute off the stage, I will never know. Because until you're in that situation and you forget your dance, you're never going to know what to do in that situation. You can prepare all you want. You can be like, oh, I'll just do this. I'll just do that. But until you're actually in that situation, you realize how blank your mind goes. It's like when you're on stage and you forget your lines. Seconds turn into hours. Oh, don't cry. It's okay, Chloe. It's okay. <laughs> Mistakes happen. You know, we all can't be perfect. Christy, deal with that like a boss. And then Dragon Lady over there is going to come and be like, Ah, Chloe! What, what, what were you doing? Well, you, you know what you need to do. I'm kind of a humble guy. I mean, I'm very proud of her. And I just hope she just continues her success. And I, I hope it don't go to her head. That's one thing. You know what? Can we get Kurt on the show and bid off Melissa? Is that his name, Kurt? I don't even know. But I think he's so funny and he's so entertaining. And also, most importantly, he's humble. He's like, I hope this doesn't go to her head. Like, I want I want her to remain like, yep, cool. Let's just keep winning, but let's remain humble about it. Melissa's like, no, she must only win. I will only be happy if my daughter wins. <laughs> if Brooke and Paige wouldn't have left rehearsal yesterday, they would have nailed that number. But instead, mediocre. I thought it was good. I thought it was fine. Um, I'd probably give it like a like a, a five six personally. There were some shaky moments. There were some rough landings from Paige. I thought she was gonna do her ankle at one point. But yeah, on the whole, it was alright. Like uh, I think Acro is only fun sparingly, and like the first couple of times they did it, it was like, oh cool. But like I've been seeing them do a lot of this this series, so. I guess it's not as exciting to me anymore. That was insane. That's getting... That's getting a solid 9 out of 10 on the on the pizzazzometer. I don't know. I'll come up with something for season 2 when we get there. But that was really, really cool. I gotta say, I liked it. I thought it was fun. It was funky. There were some great moves. The ballet is something that doesn't always interest me. But, like, that was really, really fun to watch. And I liked the dynamics between them. Chloe was very much playing that guru character, whereas Maddie was playing like the oh my god, I'm so amazing character. Um, so yeah, I feel like that was that was a good, nice performance. Chloe definitely redeemed herself from that. Let's hope they win it, honestly. Maddie and Chloe, I mean, if you watch the two dances side by side, their choreography is a totally different level of choreography. Okay, Kelly, now is not the time. Now is not the time to be calling out the choreography and the differences and like oh come on like now's not the time kelly yeah page and brooke getting fifth place i'm i i mean it's better than the 10th place that kelly was forecasting so i'll take fifth place that's not bad Yeah, as it should, as it should go to them. I'm sorry, but they were the best, so you got to back them. Uh, big props to them, honestly. Big claps, big claps. So, yeah, very, very well done. If the tops come up, do not freak. The judges have seen it all. Believe me, they're all in show business. You've seen one move, you've seen them all. Um... <sighs> yeah, that was disgusting, Abby. What, what do you mean if your top's right up, don't worry because the judges have seen boobs before. It's still like that. No, no, no I'm sorry. 
I'm, I'm sorry, but how, how is that your response? And I think he tries to give her tips that don't make sense. And he's rude to other people. You're rude to people. So does that mean you're not allowed in the room? Come on, stop being such a hypocrite. She just, she just gets upset. She does not get yes, upset. Yes, she does. No, she does. My daughter, seen her. I know my daughter more than you do. Trust me. I know my I daughter. I spend more time with her. That was, that was uncalled for unfair. That's unfair. How do you guys not watch this show and just want to chuck something at her? Chuck something at your screen like, ah, I'm so angry. I'm so pissed off. I am making the sacrifices for his child. He doesn't even need to be here. She's great. She's fine. Everybody knows who Maddie is. And I did that. So disgusting. That is their dad. That He is here. Because Melissa's gone swanning off and he wants to be there for his children. He wants there to be at least a parent there with them. And you're turning around and being like, nah, soz, get out of here. Because you're working them up. Yappa, 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 shut it, please. See yourself, your true perfection. Oh, you know just who you are. You're meant to be. Yeah, I thought that was really nice, actually. I thought Mackenzie being in it was a little bit pointless. Literally was on there for a lift, did a little bit of a split leap, and then ran off. That was about it. Um, yeah, I'd give that an eight, eight out of ten on the on the pizzazzometer. That still needs work. That's not the final iteration of whatever that is. But, um, yeah, I thought it was good. I thought it was decent. I thought it was fun. It was funky. There were some nice moments. Yeah. This is my beauty Abby Lee dance company. It makes some noise. Yeah, fair game. Yeah, all right. Fair enough. Big claps, big claps. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Uh, yeah, they deserved this. I think this is a nice note to end the sort of competitive a uh, streak of this series on one two three we are heavy late four five six you should be your kicks seven and eight we are really great nine and ten we just want to get that's a horrendous rhyme i feel like that needs work you may be winners of a national competition but you're not songwriters so i would leave that to the professionals if i were you i'm just sick of the way she treats people, the kids, the mothers, everyone around her. She don't care who she hurts in the process. I don't want them around that environment. I See, this guy, this guy is a caring, loving dad, as far as I'm aware from his portrayal of the show. And I'm so, so glad because this is a toxic environment. This is nasty. This is not fun to be around. I don't think I'd have lasted in this place. Or if I had, I'd have given her some lip back and been like, hey, yo, check yourself before you wreck yourself well that was eventful wasn't it um yeah that was kind of crazy honestly i didn't really know what to expect from this episode it was a lot less dramatic than i thought it was gonna be but there were still good moments in it and i hope you guys have enjoyed my funny quirky commentary i've been a little bit angry in this episode abby rubbed me up the wrong way far too many times but I hope you guys have enjoyed and I will see you guys tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. I'll see you guys in a couple of days for the next episode of Dance Mums. But until then, keep on ranting and I'll see you guys later. Bye now.